folks, today I'm going to show you how to make this pot, <coughs> this vessel. It's not designed to actually put actually put a pot plant in it. It's more of a vase that you'd um, use it for, or you could actually put a another um, vessel inside it and put a plant in it like that. So what I'm going to do is um, basically use cement and some muslin cloth to give it the structure. Um, as the base I'm using a beach ball and over top of that I have got a lantern. I thought the wire might give it a little bit of um, support. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. So I'm just dipping the um, baby muslin into cement. I'm working on the bottom here. And as when I've done this, I will flip it over and do the top once it's dry. Um, yeah. So I'll actually do two, two layers, if not three in this video. Although in hindsight, um, more would be um, probably a better idea as there were places that um, I'd missed with the concrete and it was a little bit soft and the upper rim um, could have done with a little bit more structure in it but that's nothing that I can't add later on I was just in a little bit of a hurry when doing this video and that's just a bit of hindsight The products that I'm using in this project are a, um, a cement mix, I think it's Evershore, Evershore Cement and a fine sand and it is two parts sand, one part cement with the addition of water. Um, you'll also see me spray water on, cement likes water just to keep it moist and all that kind of jiff. Um, I'm also using a Semlex Quick Patch, which I don't know what countries that is available. I just found it here in New Zealand, and I think it's kind of similar to your Henry's Feather Finish that I've seen in some US videos. Now, I'm not sure on that, but yeah. So they're the two, um, well, yeah, the two products the base products. There's other products which I'll explain as I go through that are nothing too great. So with it all having the first layer of cement I'm going to hang it to dry and I'm going to clamp it via the bungee if that's what it's called I'm not sure at the top <coughs> so it keeps its shape and you can see how I've done it right here this will take maybe depending on temperature I don't know it was anywhere from a day to two days in between each layer to dry it out
Here I'm going to add the next layer um, of the baby muslin and the um, cement to add a little bit more base structure to it. Um, this is where I said in hindsight I probably should have added more reinforcing around the top um, as in more muslin going further on into the inside and you will see why I say this later on. And um, in the patches you can see a patch just to the left where perhaps you can see right through there are a couple of places where I have not um, done a good job of completely covering it so I would have been better off to do another layer to add just to um, maybe stop a few problems that I had later on As you can see here, this is where I had trouble with the rim. I'd um, let out the ear of the beach ball and it's still sunken down inside, but there was offering no support because I hadn't done enough concrete layers around the rim and um, or I hadn't let it dry properly. I'm pretty sure it's enough, the, the layers, not the drying properly, um, as it has completely complete, com collapse so what I've done is I've blown up the ball again redone it and then hung it like I did before while it dries and this seems to have fixed the issue now with the cement and muslin layers um, on and dry I'm going to add the sim mix layer and I'm adding a little bit of paint into this um, I don't know if you're supposed to but hey this one you definitely water use to need water need to use water with because it does dry very very quickly. Yeah, this is just giving it a nice well not a nice smooth finish, but definitely a smoother finish than is um, than the concrete finish gives. Um, here you can see I'm adding rubbing dirt into it to give it some more of a non-concrete finish texture and colour um, and this is why I added the colour to the um, cement mix or the sim mix which is like the Henry feather finish um, yeah you'll definitely see the the difference in the colour when it when it dries this is just potting mix that I had in the studio So now that it's dried, I'm going to add a layer of my walnut ink, which I have done a previous video on if you want to find that, just to give it a little bit of depth of colour so it doesn't look like concrete. I didn't want it to in this one. Um, yeah, so I've actually watered down my uh, um, walnut ink because it was too dark and left like a stain where I put it because it was just far too dark. I'm also rubbing a bit more dirt in it just to give it a bit more texture. Yeah, 
Here's a little bit of close up for you. You can see that it's got texture and body to it and different colours. Um, you can definitely see where the dirt's been rubbed in and where some of the lighter base concrete is still shining through and the dark patches of my walnut ink where I first put it un undiluted. So, yeah. I'm really loving how it's turned out. So here, after another layer of um, ink and dirt I think I put on it, I'm going to, or I have sprayed the inside with the black, just to take away the pink of the lantern, um, and spray the external with a um, clear, a matte clear, just to add a little bit of protection. This is the first pot that I made and you can see that it's um, a little bit lighter in colour and it's not quite as round, it's got more of a organic shape let's call it and this is because I didn't use the um, lantern as a frame. I covered a beach ball in some tape that you use to hold um, mats and carpets, mats on carpets, it's got a thatch across it so I thought that might have been supportive as um, a frame which did work but um, I think the lantern worked much better. I thought wobbling might be a problem um, or some might see it as a uh, potential problem. Um, it's actually quite sturdy but all the same, I thought a good way around this was to fill a bag of sand and or maybe two bags. Here I've just done one bag and um, just weighted it a little bit. That way I can have it on any angle. Um, it doesn't have to be straight up and down. I can have it on a slight angle and, and it just weights it a little bit. These are the pro products I mentioned earlier, the fine sand, the cement and the sem mix. Thanks for watching, I really do hope you got something out of this and feel comfortable in moving forward to make your own vessel. Um, the one thing I did forget to mention was the paint um, hue that I used was a burnt umber. So again, thanks for watching. Happy creating.